point do you start making decisions as far as the draft? Do, I mean, what, what, what point do you start evaluating everything, talking to coach? I mean, Zach said last year to talk to coach like, soon after, after the regular season. Does that process start yet? No, I'm talking to Mr. Uh, who, who else are you going to consult with? Myself, my parents, God, like I said, my coaches. I mean, that's pretty much all I need to consult with at, at that point. You know, everybody else is not a concern for me. At the end of the day, it's about you know, how I feel. And, What's best for me? What's going to determine what the decision is? What kind of factors come into that? I don't know yet. I haven't even really thought about it uh, as much as trying to lead. Uh, uh, so I'm going to have to go there and figure out you know, what the real factors are. Will you talk to other players like Sue or guys who weren't? was in this position before. No, I haven't talked to anybody yet. I mean, obviously, everybody's going to get their opinion. And it's one of the things we just got to listen to see what they have. Everybody's going to have knowledge and experience of you know, the process, like Sue and the other guys, Marquise Lee and everybody else who came before. They all got experience and know what's going on. So it's just hearing them and, you know, uh, and what they did and the decisions they made. And at the end of the day, everybody's journey and road is different. So it goes off that. You still got to follow your instinct and your heart. At the end of the Notre Dame game, you said you didn't feel like you really accomplished much. But since then, you've won the fourth award and made all the All-American teams. I mean, it's a blessing to get all those awards and being all American. Uh, I mean, there's still a lot to accomplish here that I feel uh, at the school. So it really hasn't had much change. I mean, just a, uh, an award and it was all American. How big of a factor are mock drafts for you? I don't even, honestly, I don't know what a mock draft is. Like, what is, I don't know. It's where they project where you would be drafted. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Yeah, that probably don't play a factor in my opinion. Like, who comes up with that? Everybody. Whoever wants to. Yeah, yeah. who's like who's everybody? Like literally, whoever like, wants to. So I can anybody. make one. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna make one tonight, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you understand the concept. Basically, they'll tell you your projected to go maybe in the first round. Early in the first, later in the first, second round, so on and so forth. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's what it's saying, my draft. Yeah. yeah. So, Same I mean, yeah. if, when asking, I guess, is if the consensus is that you're going to be in the first round, does that factor into your decision? That you it just all depends. I really, I just thought about that. So, maybe after the voting, like I said, I'll be figuring out, you know, is that what, you know, what's really going on, how I'm really going to process everything. Does track impact your decision at all? Yeah. I'm cool off track right now. <laughs> I work focus on football at the moment. I really ain't really worried about track right now. You had mentioned wanting to participate in the World Championships. So that like, how like much you would have Uh, I mean, at the time, yeah, I wanted to, but I'm in football, in football shape. And if I did want to go to the World Championships and came back, It'll be a long process, a long journey. Putting everything I just put into work here in football, putting that behind me and trying to go to track. So I was to come back, I just be playing football. Oh, so you would do spring football then if you want to come back? Yeah, I mean, I'll go out there and jump if they need me to, but I ain't trying to, I don't need to be working out long jump. You already playing more offense, the whole Heisman Trophy thing and all that. Would that be if one of those factors that you might consider? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of factors to consider. I mean, obviously, you know, I want to win the Heisman, I want to win the National Championship here. Do all right on offense. I don't know how I many yards I'm averaging, but it's, it's a high number. So when I do and get in there, it's effective. So I mean, I just try to get, make use of what I have and take advantage of every opportunity. So I mean, if I'm out there for five plays, or I'm out there for one. I'm just trying to do the best that I can I'm with those plays. Could you ever see yourself going more offense than defense? No, I think I went a lot of offense last year. I was a lot. I used to play like over 90 plays a game. So now uh, I don't play that many plays. I think it makes me more uh, effective, special teams-wise, uh, defensively, and just my all-around game. So uh, I think I did a lot of offense, and I don't think that, that goes away. I mean, you see I play offense every one a couple of plays, but I can still go for 20 yards or whatever it may be. So that's how I view it, about playing offense.
did you consider filling out the paperwork to get NFL feedback on where you need to check? Yeah, that's what the coaches want me to do. I, mean, I really just, just focus on playing ball at this one. I, I'm not even worried about the draft. Juju said you 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 were the only person he's talked to about, about draft stuff. What, what kinds of stuff is he talking about? Um, basically what you've seen on Twitter. <laughs> if he won't come back or not, or if he won't come back, that's pretty much it. We're talking about we're that much deeper than that. Has he told you it's good, he wants to make it like a package deal, whatever you guys do? No, he didn't say that.